All right, how's it going, guys? We are here with XAR. I thought that, well, he thought that it would be interesting to show you guys his absurdly automated circuit production <laughs> stuff, since you guys seen how I was automating mine, albeit I am still in mid-game. I am not using only Platinum Ultimate T6 circuits. Aww. Which is the way he's I'm doing sorry. his. But um, you can see by this tower of absurdity that, well, he's no longer anywhere close to mid-game since he has five fusion reactors now. Oh, yeah, that's I, still five. I complete the game when I build one. He's up to five and probably still wants more. Yeah, somebody um, challenged me to make another 200. Oh. Okay, so we're going to turn this on, throw him his wrench, and we're going to go through what all of this does from start um, to finish. Sure. So um, we need a redstone alloy for the crystallization crucible mm -hmm. so we've got redstone and silicone smelters um, electric heaters um, a mixer for that and then the crystallization crucible um, we'll take the output get our uh, redstone alloy buell, uh allow it to go through the buzz saw this is one of the only few machines i was able to reuse and not make two buzz saws um, so we can run that through the first cut will make us the large plates and then the second cut will make us the tinies and we get the tinies back there um and we need a crap ton of them are you um, manually bringing in your uh dust or is this just from the saw that is the excess i brought in some initially but that is increasing steadily that is the excess from the saw so the process is a gain for that small dust, mm -hmm. apparently. So I'll need to add a melter to melt the excess of that back down and throw it back in the tank in the back. Um, yeah, because so you that I don't get have like, the excess. You get like eight, or is it eight? I think from the cutting these down. Yeah, you to get the tinies, and you only need four to make a buell, or one to make yeah. a buell. You get four, you only need one to make it. That's Something what it like is. That. So you get three extra. Mm -hmm. So you get you get a little bit extra of the dust. I mean, I'm sure it's equal in the, you're using a more of the liquid of the molten, but the dust is making more, so it's going to eventually exceed what this barrel will hold, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, <laughs> and I leave that portion of this always running. Um, so that we always have lots of tinies because you need you need a pile of them in order to make one circuit. Yeah. Um, and then down here is the only electrical source in the entire um, well, one of the only electrical sources in the entire thing. Um, the uh, fusion power cells, um, those are filled up by the fusion reactor. Um, I don't have to change those that often. Um, this doesn't run for very long. Um, even for those 10,000, or yeah, for the 10,000 circuits that's going to about, that's going to start making now, it's, uh, it's, uh, not going to, uh, need to turn it off so it will stop. Um, it's not going to make too many. Um, following that backwards, we, from the tiny crystalline plates, we need signalium wire. So we have a wire mill for signalium. Behind it, we have a little buffer for signalium rods. Um, any of the metal casting takes a little bit, so we have a process for that. There's the mixer for the signalium, and then three melters back here for our redstone, silver, and copper. Um, and then I used to have a Melters running platinum for uh, rods and for plates. And we'll talk circle back on that in a minute. 
Um, they're a bit too slow, even at MV. Um, the MV heaters will melt faster than the single mold can drop um, and cool down. So we run out um, in our process. Um, looping back through here, we have the platinum rods, which are again going into a wire mill right behind it. And that's getting us our platinum fine wire. And so now if we look up, we have platinum fine wire, um, signalium fine wire, and tiny crystalline red al redstone alloy plates. And so those, all three of those are going into this press. And that gets us our ultimate circuit port. Mm -hmm. And that ultimate circuit part is following this lovely pipe here and getting up over here. And that goes into our press to go into our circuit board. But that's only half of what we need. We also need the circuit plate built. So walking the circuit plate backwards, we've got circuit plates and the platinum wire uh, a press there also. If we turn around, <laughs> we have another press taking our um, silicon whatever dust. Um, in this case, it's currently quartz. It'll soon be silicon dioxide and our plastic sheets. Pressing those together, circuit plates. Great. Then we need our platinum wire. We got to etch platinum foil. So we're etching platinum foil. We got that. We got a cluster mill running, two cluster mills running for um, getting the platinum foil out of the plates. And our plates, again, were coming from some mold somewhere. But like I said, platinum is slow. Uh, it's relatively dense. Um, it is, what is it in here? Uh, 2,384, um, pretty dense. Um, I can't put that back now, whatever. Nice. Um, yep. Cause it's designed to refill itself and Hey, look, it refilled itself. Um, going down out of here are some wires and that means something's downstairs. Now, real quick, before we go down there and look at that, I know you've got a better way of doing it now, but remember that the um, smelters are not, um, they don't have to deal with overclocking. So you could have upgraded these to titanium or tungsten mm -hmm. carbide, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't have, they'd have gone faster. And you can also put coolers on yeah, your we molds. We would have needed to put uh, thermoelectric coolers on the molds. Right. And but you came we up probably with a much still would have way. needed three molds. I had a, I don't know if there's a better way, but it's <laughs> more interesting. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, so, yeah, so there's a large uh, THC crucible down here. Um, and in there, we throw all kinds of aluminum or of uh, platinum and it's full of platinum yay um there's uh this is arsis's patented uh rs latch so those wires that we saw are coming into here um this block is acting as an or um so we have an or so if either of those are low um they're set to uh a thousand and four so if they're less than a thousand and four it'll kick this back on um and we'll start seeing heat come up and hey look heat's coming up um because one of them's low um and so on this we have 24 plate molds and 24 uh uh rod molds uh, it has a little bit of a funness in that it can act as a bit as a buffer because underneath each one of those is uh, a hopper. And so there's a pile of plates still left, um, but it's low on rods. So it's making for rods. And yeah, we only know how many there is because we literally counted them. <laughs> I was like, dude, how many molds do you actually have here? This is ridiculous. Um, is this a visual thing that these... Yeah, I was just looking at that. 
Okay. It, it's <laughs> probably like, visual. Not used to that looking like that. No, it's visual. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised your client also saw it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of weird that both of us see the same ones messed up. And so heating this thing. Yeah, um, so heating this thing. There's some electric heaters here. They aren't really used. Um, I took the two MV heaters and it was a bit slow. Um, also using the um, fusion power cells, this is tipped up so it doesn't get used. Um, I thought that was a little boring. And, you know... Most everybody will know my feeling on these large crucibles of how um, inefficient they are. But at this point, does he really care? <laughs> no, not at all. This is um, the point where it's understandable to run a large crucible. Yeah, I mean, well, so one, I wanted to cook a lot at once. Two, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. I mean, in the, the game, all of this stuff is easy to come by. I just had to make a bunch of shit. So we'll make a bunch of stuff. Um, so down here we have a um, large heat exchanger. The underneath here, um, liberal, starting to see the liberal use of my adamantium in my builds. Um, there's um, five fusion reactors over here. Um, so yeah, there's adamantium everywhere now. Um, so we have adamantium drum. We're using molten lithium chloride. It gives us a little bit more heat um, and causes the rods to deteriorate a little quicker, which I thought was perfectly fine. Uh, we have in here cobalt uh, 60. We're running around 160 neutrons, which means it's not enough to escape, which is why we're not melting from radiation poisoning. If uh, somebody were to, say, push bear into one of these reactors, um, we'd get radiation poisoning mm -hmm. as he... Yeah, radiation poisoning. Ah, fun. This is what I was talking about um, a while back of how I was going to do my um, reactor in the... Not a breeding reactor, but a burning reactor. I actually want to try to get to the end of the cycle. Um, yeah, so you we'll start do that with, at some point. You start with thorium or cobalt, I can't remember which one, and you can move mm -hmm. all the way through and back. It should, and I be, just... it should be thorium, I think, but cobalt will get you more thorium. Yeah, and then when you get to the top tier, whatever the americium or whatever the top one is, it's by I was in a quadria. I don't remember. It's one of them. Um, I went through it in a live stream a while back, um, but you actually get this back out. Whatever the first one is, you get it back out. Mm -hmm. But I just want to see one of these days. You got to sit down and do the math for me, nerd boy, and figure out just how much of the initial you have to put in to even get enough to make one. A lot at the end. I'm I'm guessing it's a ton because well, reactors mm -hmm. you have. Uh, let's see here. If I could stop hitting the P button and hit the O button, uh, we go from uh, neutron, neutron, thorium-232, all the way up to the top one is Nequadria, you're right. Um, so we've got that whole line you basically have to run through to get back to the first one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll kill everything. Pretty much. Um, again, abuse of huge pipes or of adamantium. Uh, huge pipes uh, hold 240,000 um, liters. So that can hold a uh, hot uh, hot coolant item and so that'll hold the hot lithium chloride um, if it turns off um, and then there's just a tiny pipe in here to control how much goes in there um, tiny carbon I was just going to say that's carbon not uh, rubber 
Yeah, that's that's carbon, not rubber. Um, just in case you needed to be reminded that rubber will melt at that temperature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's a not there's um, I think there's only uh, two million or slightly more lithium chloride in there, so there's more than enough to get it all through the heat exchanger and not run the system out. And then there is enough circuitry or redstone in here to turn it off if it is too full or is too empty um, and not processing so that the reactor blocks don't disintegrate. Um, thankfully, explosions are still not on. Um, but yeah, so that's the whole build. It's excessive. Um, I might, uh, where I'm at now is I'm usually running materials back and forth from the main base. Um, plastic pulp has to be brought in pretty regularly, um, as does the silicon dioxide, uh, the redstone, silver, copper. Um, we also breezed by it, but there's also over here, um, is tin and antimony for soldering alloy um, to go in. Um, and we've made 215 circuits for the t duration of this video. So this makes circuits relatively quickly. Yeah, um, and you don't need a large bath or anything because it makes circuits way faster than what you use them. And as you guys see, he goes kind of crazy on the things he makes, so. I don't like making a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I do love your use of the uh, plastics. Oh These yeah, things are I, absolutely great. I did. I did like the use of the plastics. Um, I would like a five k and a ten k plastic, or even a metal variant, just so that I have a little bit more, but not a million. Hmm. Um, cause right here, there's a wood one just because that's the only thing that goes to 10k. Um, there's a couple of other of my builds that would benefit from having a 5k or a 10k, um, for the buffer. But yeah, the 1000 is nice. It just stops the system when it's full. It leaves more than a reasonable amount around. Um, as you can see, the system's not completely tuned. Um, we're short on platinum foil already. Um, we're short on uh, uh, completed circuit plates. Um, and they'll eventually run down. I don't care. This is way <laughs> more than I need. Um, one of those fusion reactors is only like 12 or 1300 circuits. So this is more than enough. Hmm. Also, that's so, why this exists because that those reactors are like twelve or thirteen hundred circuits. Yeah. So, are you going to use a logistics core to send over the main, the raw stuff? No. Uh, so I'm going to be extra absurd, and I'm going to make one of these matter replicators for each of them. Ah. Uh. Because with five reactors now, that matter fabricator has been running for the last five days, and these crystals are full, which means we gotta get busy. Hmm. Or we're gonna fill up on matter. Ah. So I might as well just replicate everything I need. And yeah, be, at this point. And be absurd. Well, just... And I'd like to point out that. Um, when we did Paul's uh, base tour for GT6U, he mm -hmm. rushed to get to Mars to get adamantium. And as you can see, he has adamantium everywhere. Adamantium tanks, adamantium drums. He's just replicating his. He's got a thousand adamantium ingots just sitting here waiting for him to use them. And... Um, we were going through earlier and fixing Crazy's tree. By the way, if you're here for the, the circuit build, it, we're done with that. We're just going to ramble for a minute. 
Um, <laughs> we were we were over fixing crazies um, coconut trees that got caught on fire, and I had remembered that we had a barrel in there with rainbow sap that was doing the the fizzing noise that and we that just we needed, heard <laughs> yeah that we needed to get changed out and i was like dude you got a barrel we can use for this because i don't have any ironwood right now to switch it out and he's like yeah here and he just threw me an adamantium drum so crazy now has an adamantium drum when she gets back in her uh, bear you needed some more drums <sighs> i just re- i just brought you back the one i did have you have way too much adamantium. This guy needs to be stopped. <laughs> I told Greg this, and he's like, how do you want me to nerf him? I was like, no, 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 I'm not saying you need to nerf him. I need, we just need to stop him. <laughs> he's mad, he needs help. <laughs> yes, I brought on two more reactors to balance out the fuel usage, and you know what? The fuel usage is still increasing. Uh, tritium's still increasing, deuterium's decreasing, and of course helium is going up because I now have an extra deuterium deuterium reactor. So you know, uh, what the fuck? I can do I can do uh, tr- uh, the helium three to uh, helium. That'll react nicely. Um, I usually just break down the helium. Hmm. And this is where his fuel's coming from, is all of these centrifuges out here. Yeah, I built the sixth one thinking that I might need it, and I don't. And I might Uh, actually turn it on um, if I build more reactors, but um, it's just sitting here to make everything look even at this point. Mm. And then these are tanks down here that have feet made out of drains which are carbon uh, pipes that are sucking in the water to Mm -hmm. keep this thing moving. So one of these days we might come back here and go through this setup again if somebody is interested in all of his fusion-ness. It's in the but base you... tour video. It's just buried in there somewhere in the second one. Yeah. And we are going to be working on another reactor build um, sometime soon. So you guys will have that to look forward to soon. Because, you know, that's when you always start doing fission reactors is after you have five fusion reactors. Mm, baby. <laughs> Anyways, I need, I need more power. Yeah, sure you do. I need more power to make the black hole. You need you need more power so you can set up a line over to my base. Things how it doesn't have any. Well, Just gonna set up a long distance uh, pipe from his base to mine and he would never notice with a little bit of power I use over there. I'm sure it's a yeah. drop in the bucket this compared will, to his. This will solve all of your problems. I think I already have one of those over there waiting. I just need to get everything set up to do it. <laughs> yeah, that would be more than I probably use in a year with the amount of power I use. Yeah, Anyways. I literally, I literally fill those up and then drain them just to put more power into the crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Back on my single player, I'm doing that with the helium ones. I'm just that's what I do with all my excess helium is or not helium hydrogen hydrogen mm-hmm. is just run it into a canning machine and have it. Yeah, there's fill a canning machine. There's a canning machine down here and then an, a um, retriever cover. Hmm. And whenever they get empty, it pulls it out, and then it sends the full one back in. Oh, you used a retriever cover. I used a Mm -hmm. hopper and a filter on the hopper so it would pull out of the battery box when it was the empty one into the filter, into the hopper, and then shove it back in the canning machine. (laughs) Yeah, you're ridiculous. Low tech, man. The retriever cover costs almost nothing. Doesn't it take one of the mechanical arms to make that thing? No, just a piston. Oh, okay. 
I don't piston like making and electrum. cars. Yeah. And then if you look at this crucible and look up towards the uh, things, the crucible will disappear. Doesn't do it for me. Really? It does it for me. Yeah, it doesn't do it for me. Huh. Neat. Um, no, you might be. Is? Well, maybe you need to stand closer, or maybe I need a new graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you need a new graphics card because it doesn't at any distance for me. Huh. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this one disappears we'll... and the other one doesn't. <laughs> I guess we'll stop rambling here and we'll get back to you guys. When we uh, yeah. start messing around with the new reactor, we'll build so. something over here to power this. Yeah, because I'm crazy and like to use nuclear power for our crucibles. <laughs> Which I still think is funny that you're doing something we that Axel did what eight years ago, and you never even knew he did it. Yeah, something like except, that. Except you're doing yours much, much more. Uh, this is much more Greg. Yeah, you're not running an IC2 reactor right next to a single block crucible. Mm -hmm. Using an you're electric little... heater. <laughs> yeah, that that was just a little strange. Anyways, have a good one, and I will see you guys next time.